Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids147, and it's time to kit up my Safari edition in my Paint Gem Mini case. Um, so last time, oh, it was a while ago, um, when I kitted up, uh, was it insects? Um, my decision wheel kept picking paintings that had less than 30 colours and I wanted to save those for using in my 30 bottle paint gem case. This is the last one of them. What I have done now is I have changed my decision wheel um, to have paint gem paintings with less than 30 colours and paint gem paintings with more than 30 colours so that I can kit them up according to the case that I have. Um, but first thing I do like to do is these do come, or, you know, in the manufacturing process, they do have very, very pale and they're hardly noticeable um, grey lines for um, them to be able to trim them by. Not sure if you can see that. I say it's very pale. Um, and I don't know whether I, I think they must use scissors to cut them. Um, so I like to sort of neaten them up with my guillotine trimmer. And it is a little bit of a pain doing it before putting diamonds on because I end up with all these bits mm. from the cover paper from the clear cover, uh, but it is easier than doing it when they've got diamonds on. So I tend to make a mess. I have static bits all over the place, but once my kits are completed, then they can go into my display box quite easily. So I'm trimming them all down. For my display box, I do one per page. Um, one diamond painting per page. And it's always on the main page. I don't do one on the back side of it. So I don't ever see two together. So I'm not precious about them being exactly the same size. I just want them to be straight and neat. So I use the top edge of the trimmer after I've done the first straight edge. Primarily either using the diamond painting to make it look straight or the grey line if it's still there. But once I've got these all straightened up then they can go in my case and I can see whether I have static diamonds or not. That is the question. Are the diamonds going to play nice or not? How many of these do I have? There is lots in this one. Is this a 16? Well, it must be at least a 16, if not more. This is one of the older sets. I mean, I say old. I don't think any of them can really be classed as old because it's it's not even been two years, I don't think, since, since they started doing the mini sets. Um, but they have been releasing loads of new designs. They're constantly bringing out new designs, which is awesome because every time they bring out a new design, I'm like, I want it. <laughs> and I've been enjoying doing or well, pretty much doing one of these a day as like just a, a little in a little pocket of my day. Sometimes the painting all gets done at once. Sometimes it gets done in three or four sections. Um, it's been a great way to make myself stop for a little bit. So I often still make myself brew and stuff throughout the day, but then it'll I'll either cart it around with me from room to room or it'll go cold before I remember I still need to drink it. Um, so I can spend 10, 15 minutes when I make a drink, sitting, having my drink, 
doing a paper paint gem mini and it sort of makes me take that moment to pause gives me chance you know to get my thoughts in alignment for maybe the rest of the day uh, all that sort of stuff can go on in the background and I actually find I've been a bit more productive for it considering I am taking a time to diamond paint um, just because it gives me I say that thinking time get my thoughts in alignment you know work out what's the best thing to do next um, some days there are multiple jobs that need doing some days it's a matter of giving myself a talking to to get that horrible job done um, but yeah I've, I've really enjoyed and sometimes I don't get round to doing one but I might do one while just before tea's ready or something and sometimes by the time uh, like I don't have enough di time to diamond paint in an evening just because of whatever's gone on but I I've got enough time to squeeze in to do a paint gem mini um, but not necessarily a full section of another diamond painting so they give me options which is why I've really enjoyed sort of doing one a day at various different times it's not the same time every day right let's get all those little annoying bits of cover paper try and get as many of them out the way I'll probably still find them for a while um, I'm just gonna pop the listing with which what each of the animals is I'm just gonna pop that in with them and that I tend to sit in this back pocket. In fact, I'm going to need to chop this down as well, I think. Let's just make life easier for myself. I keep this for reference for when it comes to de-kitting the painting and putting them in my display books. That's when I use this. So I don't need... I don't need it to look a particular way. On my other containers, I put them on the inside of the clear lid. So pop those in there. I tend to just work on them in order. So I'll take the first one, which in this case is a zebra. Once I've done it, I'll put it behind the card and I'll just flip my way through whichever one happens to be next. But that's ready. Still got loads of those clear bits everywhere. Also have a few spare glue dots. Um, if I take this away with me, which I did with the edition that was in here previously, I can often pop a tray and stuff in there as well. But let's get the diamonds ready. Ready to go. So I prefer to have my pots in alphabetical order and I'm just going to put them in alphabetical order straight away. I could just put them in the order they're in and then change them afterwards uh, because this order does tend to be the order they're packaged in. But to be honest, it's not, it's not really that hard to find which letter I need next so I'll just do it in order from the off and that saves me a step later uh, they do tend to use every letter of the alphabet they occasionally miss one but more often than not it's every letter of the alphabet so it's just a matter of finding where the sticker is on the place J K L M in. I have found now I did always wonder why they did these in a certain order um, but what I have noticed on the last few that I have de-kitted and kitted up there are a couple of symbols not all of them but a couple of symbols I've noticed have been the same each time PQR uh, and I'll tell you those as I get to them. So R, S. The last few, I say it may not be for all of them, but the last few, the letter T has always been 307. 
um, that has often been the case. S-T-U-V. Also, the letter W is often 520. Um, X being 310, bit more hit and miss. I've had that be different symbols outside of letters and numbers. Um, but I have noticed that T and W have been those in the last few kits that I've done. <coughs> it may not be the case for every single kit. Okay, so let's get the diamonds out and let's see whether we are going to face a static bundle or not. Let's turn them over because that's what gives me... Um, the numbers on the front and because I'm not doing these in my strip storage that is a strip of four I can just pull out whichever pot I need this one is actually more than a pot's worth so rather than overfill that I do have some spare pots so let's pop them into a spare pot And then I also have, of course, spare labels. So the colours, the rest of them are cut out. So I'm just going to put the DMC number of 310. Even though the symbols are easy, what I'll do is I'll use this up and then when I need more 310, I'll swap the lids on the pots and do it that way. So it's really handy to use up some of these. So 413 and so far I might be tempting fate because there is a little bit of static in this bag but the blacks were really good. Are they all going to fit in one? No they're not. There is static in this bag though. That's what that was. <laughs> it's not huge static but it definitely was a little bit of static. So let's see if we can, oh, see look, you see there, they are not me knocking the pot. They are the diamonds deciding they don't want to go in the pot. So let's get them all out of the bags. And then what I do is I just wet my finger and then rub them into the pots. And the dampness from wetting my finger is often enough to get rid of the static. I have tried putting a tray underneath when it comes to static diamonds, but because the tray underneath is also plastic, it just becomes double plastic. It just doesn't like it. But we obviously have a lot of greys for the animals. A lot of grey, a lot of black, which is not surprising considering it's Safari. I'm also expecting quite a lot of browns, so I reckon I'm going to fill up my three pots and possibly have some spare bags. <coughs> but that's okay because I'm sure by the time I've done five or six, I will have gone through enough to be able to top them up. So this one was 413. Should write my sticker before I put the bag in the bin. 413, then we have 414, which again, I reckon I'm gonna need a second pot for. We definitely have more static in this one. Can you see them jumping? So let me grab my dryer sheets. I'll see how many of these end up having it or not. But let's pop a little piece in each pot just because that will reduce the static before I get to use it. And then what I also want to do is cut off a piece to mess about with. So I want a bigger piece so I can wrap it around either my finger or quite often my thumb and use it to put it in the bag and move it around, touching as many diamonds as possible. Some managed to get stuck to my thumb before. 
I managed to get that in. I definitely dropped one then. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, if I didn't find that very quickly, it would have been ditched later. I've never been shorted on paint gem drills, so I'm not about to fret over one I can't find. And then the last few that are giving me static trouble probably didn't get around to touching that dryer sheet. So that's 414 and that's my last spare pot. So any now uh, I will keep in their bags. So quite often when I'm kitting up other kits, normal big diamond paintings, if I have a um, bag that I have, you know, extras left over, I will put them into one of my holographic bags that can hang off a book ring. The only ones I don't particularly do that with is the paint gem minis. And that's because I quite often take them on the go. Um, and because I'm taking them on the go, I wouldn't want to run out while I was moving. Okay, that one has a little bit of static, so let's put one in the pot. 415 didn't have any, which is great because that's a bag that I will be filling up my pot from at some point. How is that dryer sheet? What's stopping more of these going in? Let's give them a tap and see. Let's see if I can get the rest of them in because this is 5.7 grams in weight. So it should fit in. <laughs> They're sticking to my finger. I'm trying to get them to stay. There we go. I've got them in. They'll be fine. 938, so we've got quite a bit of, of brown. I did expect a few browns. No static in these. Beautiful. This is 6.2 grams though. So just a little bit too much for the pot. So once I've done three or four, I will go through those bags and probably just top them up. Uh, 839. Where are you? I can't see it for looking. 839. I've got 840, which is this one. So let's do this 840. Oh, 839 is right next to it. Okay, so that's just me being blind. Thought I'd ended up not getting some diamonds then. I forget that they often put the colour of the symbol. Um, the background colour is slightly darker than the actual diamond, if you look at it. So I was looking for a lighter brown and that one's darker. But hey, it's all right, we've found it. Uh, no static in this one. One way you can quite easily tell if you have static in a bag is not until you open the bag is the easiest way to tell. So they're quite flat and spread out. As soon as you put air in, if those diamonds all drop and sink and can move to the side, then you're likely not to have static. You may have a couple, but primarily the bag isn't full of static. If when you open the bag, they start moving up or you see them dancing, then you have static. So this one's got a few here that are sticking. It's not too bad, but there are a few. Um, you can often see when one does have static that they just do not want to basically collect together at all. They're just repelling themselves from each other. Right, five, four, three. That might even only just be in one painting cute little amount of diamonds and they dropped straight to the bottom of the bag as soon as I opened it even though they were in the middle. So 
so no static issues there. Three, two, six. Again, hardly any here, probably just doing some animal's tongue or nose or something with just a hint of red. Uh, then we have 3705, same again. I don't think I'm going to have any problem getting these in the bag to you. Oh, no stat static problems either. As soon as I opened it, they all grouped together. 3708, another one that's just an accent one. Little bit of static in this bag, but not too much. Enough that they should just go into the pot. Oh, this is a much nicer kit to get up than my last one. And it's quicker because it's less than 30 colours. Which is good because this is the last in a line of three that I've like quite quickly kitted up. So it's nice that this one is being... Very gentle with me, making it a lot easier. And then we have 742, a little bit of orange in some. So you can see they're up the bag there. When I open the bag, they all drop to the bottom. So no static problems for that set. Then we have 307, which is, has been my letter T on quite a few recently. The May, um, 907, I think has been L often as well, but it's not stuck in my head quite as much as the bright yellow has. Um, but yeah, have you seen any that are sort of repeated very often? the the symbols and the letters they're not the same for everything and i haven't you know i've only recently noticed it so there may well be a few kits that i've done that it's been a completely different number but yeah i have noticed that there's a few but we do have just a little bit of lime green in with these safari animals now we have some fuller bags, so let's see how much of these we get in. Oh, we've got no static, that's good. This one is six grams. So this might not fit in. No, I don't. It's very, very borderline. I possibly could have squoze those in, but I'm just not going to go there. So six grams is probably my limit. So 976 aren't all going to fit in. No static though. So let's just get in. Not too full, just a nice kind of full, which is normally just like on the um, spin, you know, the, the grooves for the lid, maybe like one spin up, just a little bit of air room. Um, so that when I am tipping them out, I have just that little bit more control. This one's the same. This is 6.1 grams. So I will leave those a few. 0 0.6, we'll fit these in. A tiny little bag for this one. In fact, I think we'll get all the others in as well. But once I've done a couple of them, I, I, depending on which ones they are, I'll probably be able to just use these bags and top them back up. 3.9. Oh, we do have a little bit of static in this. Let's see how aggravated it gets. It's the, the last few that are in the bag are giving just a little bit more trouble. Not too bad. But I think what I will do is I will pop a dryer sheet piece in there, squeeze it in the pot a little bit. And then as I either tip them out or as I'm moving my case about, 
it will all the diamonds will touch the dryer sheet and calm themselves down little bit in this one again but not even as much as the last one three escapees let's see what the white's like because i just have one little square of dryer sheet left okay the whites are worse so we'll use the little square of dryer sheet for the whites <laughs> uh, the whites are definitely worse so i'm going to use my piece of dryer sheet as well to try and calm them down before they go in take that out I've only actually used that a couple of times so I'll pop it back in with my dryer sheets waste not want not and then just pop the whites in they went in a lot better because I went round it I feel like I've got one stuck somewhere. No, nope, maybe it fell in the pot. And it's looking fuller than it is because the dryer sheet is around the side of it. But there we go. <coughs> My diamonds are all in their pots safely. Any of these bags that are actually extras haven't got static, which is great. I will pop those in the front of here. Um, because I will probably say once I've done three or four and I start putting them back here with the diamonds and it gets fuller and fuller I'll just top up those bags and get rid of them straight away but for these pots uh, once I've used up these ones I'll just swap the lids and carry on from there but that is another paint gem mini set kit up with an under 30 colors ready to grab and go if i do ever go away this is the case i take um because these are screw top pots the diamonds don't go all over the place like they can in my other boxes so this is probably the last if i have because i have three kitted up this is probably the last set i'll do of my kit already kitted up ones so that i always have one ready to go and take with me um but if i ever fancy changing it up from one of the other sets i might do the odd one um and that's what i really enjoy about them but there we go that's another one done for today thank you all so much for watching and i'll speak to you all again soon